I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. VR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse. They never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human.
Tuy rất mong á, anh Vang làm nhanh đi Cái đồ ăn ở đó rất là ngon Mất cái quyền Ông đó đang nhìn Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. I've gotten all I can from that. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even, quite a pair. Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. All my animals. I'm ruined, totally ruined. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? 
you ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron Colt. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? All my animals. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. A candy bar. Yuck. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Well, isn't that cute? Hmm. A toy dog. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyens worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. Roof, laboratory, mainframe, and shooting range. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26 percent, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Scanning video disk. 
Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. Runsitter crime scene. Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runsitter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One. I already checked for a crowbar or some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. 
We got the animal corpses from Runcidus, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State-of-the-art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinning drivers klutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> you're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runcidus is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip, man. Try me later. Ground floor. Lock up. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. Who are you, anyway? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Hey, pal. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. McCoy, LPD, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful.
What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopped to come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do Howie favor? Distribute all through our police station? This girl ever eat around here? Nah. All gaijin look like the old man. Zuben, onnamimashita. You seen girl? I don't know her. Got to mix more out back. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know and who I don't know. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. North, huh? Lightning Squad, Rep Unit, Battle of the Gemini. I'd retired a war hero, someone who'd fought for the freedom of the off-world colonists. The poor guy kind of reminded me of one of those buffalo soldiers, blacks who had killed and died for America, yet weren't allowed to drink alongside whites. And maybe, just maybe, the photograph validated his own existence. I've gotten all I can from that. Locked. I've gotten all I can from that. Chill it, man. Just took a wrong turn back there, that's all. Take your business elsewhere. An excellent idea. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. I checked with you and air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? You know. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. How long has that chef worked for you? Zuban? Just month. 
Superior chef makes all kinds of new soup. See you later, Howie. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Maggie, come here, girl. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Lightning Squad, Rep Unit, Battle of the Gemini. You know this girl or not? Nope. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed.
Crank calls were a dime a dozen in this city, and I'd had my share. Still, this guy sounded more like an English teacher than the average scumbag. If I'd been more awake, the message might have spooked me. Erase and reset. Portrait of the sleep deprived. on Mars. Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! Hmm. Can you control your rats? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good with the whole deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts. He walks. Only city leader. Expert. Terrestrial gravity. <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to... Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Mirage, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. Oh, no, no, no. You one miserable package, man. No. No, no please, don't. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs in our deal or not. Tyrell Security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Maggie, come here, girl. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. 
Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. One more thing. I've told you everything I know, Detective. I gotta work. These monitors don't watch themselves. Yeah, it's a tough gig. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the all-important dirty old man market. Jesus. I seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. Disgusting. This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here, the babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens.
Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Eisendoller had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendoller, so I figured they must be worth having. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Lagging behind again? Kusa didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. You take a look at this crime scene? Yeah, it's a real doozy, Slim. Worse than watching Guza eat. Make sure you skip a meal before you go up. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendoller's Moo Moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. You friendly with Eisendoller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendoller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendoller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. <coughs> Scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. 
Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Who's the best dog in the whole world? Most of the employees I see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendoller, he almost never left his lab. I think it had something to do with the air outside. Your floor number, please. Might I interest you in a snake, noble one? Not today, thanks. You know anything about insects? I regret that I do not, noble one. Save that I feed them to my snakes. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. 
<laughs> they all died after the war, yes. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now, I'm more interested in the insect. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things, and will cut a wonderful deal to fail. I need to ask you... Certainly the LPD must have better things to do than to question a humble merchant over and over again about the same things. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? Bob? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. He takes peculiar pleasure in agitating all the vendors around here. I cannot even go out for a shishko without worrying whether Bob is going to sabotage my snakes. Is this your work? Ah, dragon. Dragon? See, si. I'm a subtra. Dragonfly, late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? Items like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item, and most likely part of large collection. A person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. Might want to trade for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend. You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Step up, step up. Mama Isabella cooked you something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. This guy work for you? <laughs> no, but I wish he do. He be one fine-looking man. You sure? Never seen him before. I'd remembered him for sure. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Oh, Eisendollar, yeah! Let me tell you, that man can't eat! Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want chit-chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one.
two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. Hey. You're horning into my action, rookie. Take a stroll. Hey. What are you doing here, Slim? Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Or my paperwork is in order. Doesn't matter. I don't read, anyhow. What's your name? Isa. You move a lot of valuable goods through here? Valuable and exotic? How exotic? We're talking exceptionally fine jewelry in the shape of a dragonfly. Ah, uh, they were so majestic. I remember them from my childhood, and that was the last time I've seen them. It's very important that I find out about this. Can you help me? If I see something, then you can match whatever my collectors will pay. It's all yours. Thanks a million. I'm looking for some jewelry in the shape of an insect. Your two minutes are up. I'm looking for some jewelry in the shape of an insect. Your two minutes are up. A man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, uh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie. Ah, Maggie, senor. She's perfect, is it not? It's kind of ugly. About you talk about her. Nice bracelet, tough guy. Who's Maggie, your mommy? She's a dog. So is my wife, but I sure as hell don't brag about it. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. I'm looking for some jewelry in the shape of an insect. Your two minutes are up. You got anything that's a match for these?
Laboratory. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again ask that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh, no. Recording off. Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Where can I find this Izo? He owns one of those little secondhand stores downtown. Let me ask you a question. Who the hell bankrolls your operation? We have a number of anonymous donors, people with resources and sources. Such as? So anonymous, even I don't know who they are. I almost believe you. Ground floor. We get a new weapons shipment?
Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. See? I'm a subterra. Dragonfly late of the Amer- You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I didn't know the Rastafarian. The Asian fellow was one of our ex-members. Izo was his name. How long did you know him for? Let's see. I met him about five years ago. He seemed so smart and balanced. He really wanted to help the replicant people. Then what? He started associating with the more militant factions. I was astounded when I heard he was supplying weapons to some of them. What kind of weapons? Guns so new that even the police had hardly used them, I heard. I got some more questions for you. A lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer, Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the citizens against replicant slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad, so, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped. A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective, she already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh, look, I gotta check out the equipment and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care. Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him, so sit down.
Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. What do you do for a living? I teach political science. What's your name? Spencer Gregorian. I really think my lawyer should be here. Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Your child comes home with a black eye. I'd call the school. Are you taking any drugs? No. How does your machine work? Is it a lie detector? Not exactly. Your verbal responses aren't what's important. Why? You got something to hide, Spencer? Absolutely not. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. Are you trying to make me sick? You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I take him to a psychiatrist. You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. I'd call the police. What do you think it's like to be a replicant? Horrible. Frightening. Why? They're hunted creatures. Anyone, anyone can gun them down without consequence. I'd say that's frightening, wouldn't you? You're giving a speech to a crowd of hundreds. First, one person starts to laugh. He leans over and says something to the people around him. Soon, the whole audience is roaring with laughter and pointing at you. That, that's insulting. Hitting too close to home? That never happened. And even if it did, well, if I have to be scorned to get my message out, then that's what I'm going to do. You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. I try to reason with them. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. I love life too much to commit suicide. You wouldn't know about that, would you? You're watching an old movie. It shows a banquet in progress. The guests are enjoying raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. And this test is supposed to determine if the subject is a replicant? Is that an answer? Even a replicant would react to these questions. Yes, but slowly and not as strongly. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. Messy up there, isn't it? I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir.
Ever consort with a group called CARS, C-A-R-S? CARS. What is that? Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. I don't have time for such pursuits. How about Spencer Gregorian? Same goes for him, whoever he is. Funny, because he described you to a T. Even down to that stupid little ponytail you got. It's called a trauma. What would you say if I told you Gregorian named you as one of the people who was there when the Tyrell building blew up? There's a mistake somewhere along the chain of communication. So, you're denying all involvement? I won't lie to you, Detective. There was a time in my life when I might have been involved in such an organization. I actually cared. But now, all I care about is my business. I am nothing but a humble salesman. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished item. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this? world rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police issue restricted weaponry. Izo wasn't some small time fence, but a big time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city. Subject is human. There were off-world rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Thanks for your time. Freeze, Yoshi! Easy. Whatever. Been keeping yourself busy? I'll be out of lockup within the hour. Your little skin job friend's gonna take up a collection to bail you out, or you got it saved up? Maybe I got friends in high places. Yeah, and if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. What are you doing here, Slim? I was gonna ask you the same thing. 
I've been tracking this boy for a week. He thinks he's pretty clever. He's a material witness in a case I'm working. In fact, your best buddy's a replicant, isn't he? The big guy with the dreadlocks. What's his name again? Hallucinate often? That's okay. You'll be giving him up to me soon enough. I can handle it from here, Slim. Why don't you go buy yourself a lollipop? Something else to suck on. Very clever. But I wasn't trying to be. That a 45 blaster under your coat, or you're just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep D-Tech. Blade Runner, huh? How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davy Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. I hear you've been waving guns around on Animoid Row. Who's been telling you that crap? That lying Egyptian snake oil salesman? Hassan? That's the one. I should have popped him when I had the chance. You want to know what really happened? I wanted to get my daughter a present for her birthday, right? I bought an iguana from that crook Hassan. And the damn thing ran out of juice just two days after I plucked down a shitload of chinyin. Son of a bitch wouldn't give me a refund. So I threatened to burn down his shop. Sometimes you just gotta be philosophical about these things. That's exactly what my wife says. I heard of you. Is that right? You ain't done much. I just got assigned. Guys like you get hurt real easy. Meaning what, exactly? It ain't like you're a real Blade Runner. Not like Steel or Gaff. They get hurt sometimes, too. It's a dangerous business. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Because I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. How'd you feel about taking a little test? You mean the Void Comp? You come into my shop and you want to VK me? Relax, I just... <laughs> it's funny. You thinking I'm a rep. Set up the test. We'll see what's what around here. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Downtown, fourth sector. Hey, this is great. Should I be sitting any special way? Just relax. What do you do for a living? I sell donuts. Come on, is the whole thing gonna be this dull? Just answer the questions as truthfully as you can. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. Yeah, I remember that, bitch. Like my briefcase? Department issue, baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. That's supposed to scare me? Not scare, just shock. Provoke a reaction. I heard worse in the wars. Hell, I done worse. Your best friend has done something to make you angry. I know. I hate that son of a bitch. Your child comes home with a black eye. There, Giovanna. He's a good kid. Everyone's got to get bloodied sometimes. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. I kicked the crap out of the sicko. 
You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. The son of a bitch who robs me is dead. Kablam! No fooling around! And after, you feel... Good. Real good. You're seven years old. You manage to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught and your father spanks you. Good for him. You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. No, they'd better think about what they did to deserve it. Because they'll slip and I'll be ready. You're having dinner at a friend's home. Halfway through the appetizer, he tells you that you've been eating goose liver pate. I beat the crap out of him. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I tell him to get a job. Ain't he heard there's a labor shortage around here? Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Since you didn't shoot me, <laughs> I must have registered okay. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while. Well, you know, I think about skin jobs all the time. Try to get into their heads. Maybe that's what the deal is. Hey, you. Thanks for your time. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. I was fresh out of Leeds, poking around Hawker's circle had been a waste of time. I had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the Eisendaller murder. But if the replicants had done in one Tyrell scientist, maybe they'd go after another. And the subcontractors down on DNA Row didn't have Tyrell's security to protect them. Number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Hawker's Circle. A strange scale. Give me a hard copy of that. Thank you. 
China bar. Interesting. Give me a hard copy of that. Good doggy. Who's the best dog in the whole world? Your floor number, please. You got any discs from that camera? I just serve drinks, pal. But if you're gonna sit there until I cough it up, well, here it is. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Thanks for your time. You got anything that's a match for these?
your floor number, please? McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. China bar. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Gooza? Give me a hard copy of that. Hawker's Circle. Thank <laughs> you. 